down. Yeah, it's good squash there from Casey Brown. Good length again, punishing Four Madeline Perry one. deep into the back of the court and then just taking this wonderful forehand volley there for the outright winner. Down. Oh, it's an error there from Brown. 6-8, right side. Shot selection just seems to have dropped off a little bit here. Casey Brown, see this attempted cross court just clipping the top of the tin. So Perry closes the gap to just two now. Well, that's a good response out, though. Nine all. Backhand of Perry just clinging to the left hand side wall. You can just see here Brown trying to scrape the ball off, but it's nine all. Oh, that's a horrible way to finish. Game to Brown. Brown that's a horrible way to clock. finish for Madeline Perry there. She'll be very disappointed with how quickly that first game ran away from her. You see here, just swiping at the return of serve. And a fist pump from Casey Brown. Well, a good rally again from Perry. Casey Brown anticipating the cross court here. Seven, five. But good control from Perry here. You can see Casey guessing for the cross court. Down. Well, there six. it is, PJ. Game for Perry. Madeline Game Perry squeezes Casey Brown down that side wall and manages to take this second game to level the match at one all. Well, she still has four game balls to defend here, Madeline Perry. Yes, let 16 game ball. Casey Brown just colliding with Perry as she tries to get through there. So again, another fairly simple decision. Another game to Brown. poor error game by six. Madeline Perry's Brown standards. Again, a very quick finish to that third game. Well, she still needs to be careful, Casey Brown. It, this last point can prove to be an enormous mental hurdle because this would be. Quite a phenomenal result for the Australian reaching the final of this US Open. Well, she's got Madeline Perry all over the court at the moment. Hanging on for dear life. The number three seed. Certainly is getting a little bit frantic out there, PJ. There it is. Next to Brown. Wonderful three display one. from 12, 10, Casey Brown of 11, Australia. 11-6, 11-6. 67 minutes of exhilarating squash there. Number six seed overcoming Madeline Perry of Northern Ireland. Three games to one, 12, 10, 6, 11, 11-6, 11-6. Good finish there from Dunkarf. Again, really causing problems for Mazzaro at the front of the court. Initially, it was the Ten backhand eight, drop that dragged ball. Mazzaro out of position. And again here, quick hold and the drop into the front right corner, just too much. Well, she's making Jenny Dunkoff do an awful lot of work here. Oh. Wonderful finish from Mazzaro. Left side, left side please. Well, the last two rallies have been very physically demanding indeed. 12, 11, game ball. Down. And there's the error. 13, 11, first game to Mazzaro. Well, Laura Mazzaro somehow finds a way to win that first game after a... Stroke to Masaro. Video review on the decision stroke from Ms. Dunkoff. Well, a little bit of a desperation plea here from Jenny Dunkoff as we head up to the video review referee. Hits the ball straight back to herself. Stroke decision stands, 11-5, second game to Masaro. Yeah. Well, that's better from Jenny Dunkoff. 
elongating the court and Seven forcing nine. Laura Mazzaro into some loose play. Well, I just wonder if Mazzaro switched off at 10-7. Well, oh. oh, she's opted to play that front forehand cross court there. 12, Could possibly have stopped for a stroke. But that was brilliant, brilliant shot playing from Mazzaro because it wasn't a guaranteed stroke and by playing it, she won the rally. Well, she gives herself a fourth match ball now. 12-11 in the fourth. And there it is. You can see the fist pump from Laura Mazzaro. Well, number two seed coming up against a very strong performance there from Laura Mazzaro of England. 48 minutes, three games to love. Mazzaro came through 13-11, 11-5, 13-11.